I love working my dogs, but I'm always asked, do you really need a dog to go ferreting? Well, the honest truth is no you don't, but it does help. When I'm out working, my dogs are nearly always by my side, but occasionally, just occasionally, there are times when I cannot use them, or I think I would gain a better result by not using them. Confused? Let me explain. Sometimes I'm ferreting in a sensitive environment. This may be amongst livestock, buildings, or alongside major traffic routes. Being a professional means more than just doing something for a job. It's your mindset, it's your philosophy, and how you counteract the problems that arise on certain jobs. On this particular occasion, both Sutty and myself were amongst livestock that were easily spooked. But if I'm to be totally honest, brutally honest, with the long nets and ferrets, we didn't really need a dog. And we removed a lot more rabbits easier without my dogs than I think we would have done with them. We knew the rabbits were there, so we didn't need the dog to mark. All we had to do was get them out. And we did it in a very relaxed manner. The ditch we surrounded it with a lot of long netting and we had the odd stop net dividing all the separate warrens. Once the area was protected, we just used a single, large, very smelly hob ferret. There was no disturbance on or around the warrens because there was no dog and we were sat or leant against a post. And to the rabbits, it was just the same as if an extremely large dog stoat entered their home. The only difference was, we had a ferret fitted with a ferret finder collar and an animal that possibly carried a higher prey drive than a stoat would have. And because both Sutty and myself were, were lent against the fence, the rabbits just walked out and bolted to what they perceived as freedom. After each warren, we just filled the holes in, so if a rabbit went towards it, it was filled in and they had to go towards the nets. And when you're watching the film, you can tell by the reaction of the rabbits that they just didn't know what we had planned. Yes, we had the odd dig, but on the whole, the rabbits bolted nice and cleanly. We were quiet, we were stealthful, and in fact, it's fantastic because this is what ferritin is about. Would we have caught more rabbits with a dog? No. Would we have made more noise and vibrations with a dog? Most definitely. Would we have dug more? You bet your life we would have done. Could I have used a dog on the same scenario but in a different location? No. I don't think I would. The terrain of my ferritin changes and I will use what I perceive to be the best tactics to make the most impact on a rabbit population. Sometimes you get it right Others, you get it wrong. But it's when you learn from these mistakes then you really begin to appreciate the ferreting game, especially when it runs according to your game plan. This to me is why ferreting is so magical. Nothing, nobody, no rabbit, no ferret or warrens, and especially dogs and digs, are ever the same. Yes, they may be on the same ground, in the same year, with the same animals, they're never the same experience.